kids, welcome back to Roto Talk. All right, kids, welcome back. So a sad thing happened the other day. I was out running the Super Sport, and I remember I had that um, Gizmo Motors uh, 30 plus plus in there. Well, she was running really fast, running really good, and gave up the ghost. A lot I'm scared to close my eyes. I'm scared to open them. Lost a bearing out of the lower crank. Hang on a second. Yeah, so anyway. It disintegrated. Something happened in this, and uh, yeah, long stroke GZR. The metal got into the engine. I lost the cylinder, lost the piston, lost the crankshaft, obviously lost the connecting rod, bearings, you know, the whole nine yards. So what I ended up doing is I put a 30cc, actually the engine out of Einstein, uh, we still have our engine in the good old Red Baron, which we need to test out our other prop on that. Um, but yeah, we put Einstein's engine in here. Rotary only, no pull. I was that lazy. I didn't pull one in. And we're going to take her out. And I'm just going to, it's a beautiful day. The water's a little slow, meaning there's no waves. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. Wind picked up a little bit. We're going to go down there and just give it a few runs. And I think we're just going to do some... Um, first person video on the boat itself and some second person watching yeah put on some cool tunes with it and this one's coming the outboard remember this one boom, 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 boom. that's sad all right let's keep dry side up let's have some run <laughs> deck cam ran great it started getting really loud though i thought man my hearing must be improving no i lost the pipe i must not have tightened it down <laughs> look it completely fell off that's hilarious well i can't say i've ever ever in all my years of running boats screwed up like that so what are we gonna do <laughs> i'm gonna run it um without the pipe for a second it's gonna be fun what the hell let's try it it's gonna be loud <laughs> oh my gosh i can't i can't believe that that's just stupid big belt too Not running too good. <laughs> All right, kids, the moral of the story here is always make sure 
you tighten everything up after an engine change. That is what I did wrong. I'm about positive that I have never had that happen ever in all the years I've been doing this. So I believe it was these two screws on the top. I usually put a safety nut on the back. I didn't that time either. So yeah, now if you learned one thing in this video, besides don't be a dumbass. is a huge difference in speed. Did you see how slow this thing ran without a pipe? That's why I threw it in without the pipe, so you could see that. Uh, luckily I have spare pipes, just threw one on, she's ready to rock, I'll do some more running tomorrow. Um, don't know if we'll video that or not, we've all seen this run, but the Super Sport with the 30 stock and with the 30 plus plus, not a huge ton of difference. I mean, sure, it's gonna be a little bit faster with 30 plus plus, but again, like I tell my guys in my boat group online, hang on, smoking hot wife interruption. Anyway, uh, moral of the story, I tell the, the uh, guys in my boat group, um, I'm gonna stop buying modded engines. Now I got that 30 plus plus off of a buddy of mine and it wasn't his fault, it was just shit happens. Um, so, but when you're just sport running and running around, this boat was running fast as hell with the stock 30. And I've got red lines in my gas riggers, and I got a red line. I had a red line in my mono. They're 500 bucks a pop. Eh, for what I do, I'm just going to stick to stocks. Plus, they're easier to rebuild. You don't have to worry about funky parts. But either way, moral of the story don't be a dumbass. Tighten your shit. <laughs> Keep dry side up, kids. Just a short one today. Bye. Strength to win, strength to save the world from losing